guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video it is the much much awaited mommy makeup tutorial so many of you guys asked me Lee how do you manage to get ready every single day when you have a baby that's not even two months old and I've told you guys that the honest answer to that is that I do not even spend 10 minutes on this makeup my everyday makeup I timed myself when I was pregnant because I knew that when my baby was here that I just wasn't gonna have half an hour to sit down and get ready every single day so I kind of got everything down packed and I do my every single day makeup routine in only seven minutes I really feel like it's something that anybody can do anyone can either wake up seven minutes earlier whether you have a really early job or whether you're a stay-at-home mom or even if you're just a really really busy person I feel like when I have my makeup on and I take the time to just throw some clothing on and brush my hair out sorry I'm outside When I take those seven extra minutes to just put myself together for the day, for some reason it has such a big impact on me. I just feel a lot more energized. I feel like I get a lot more done throughout the day and I feel like it honestly just wakes me up. I feel a lot better when I take those seven minutes for myself. So in today's video, I wanna show you guys exactly how I do it every single day and all the products that I use. Almost every single product is a drugstore product as well. I feel like I just said product seven times in a row. So yeah, if you guys wanna see how I get this makeup every single day in under 10 minutes, then just keep All right, you guys. So the biggest reason that I feel that I'm able to do such an easy and fast makeup routine every day is because I'm very, very strict and diligent with my skincare routine. I have a video every single night. I do the same thing. I'm gonna post that down below. But before we get started, I wanna show you guys a mask that I try to use twice a week in the mornings before starting my makeup. All according to my baby Leo, sometimes it's twice a week and sometimes it's just once. So this is a mask by Timmy Blends and it's a green tea detox mask. Since I do wear makeup every single day, it's an important step for me to make sure that I really deep cleanse my skin, keep my pores from getting clogged, and then leading to breakouts. So this mask is formulated for all skin types and it's made with matcha green tea, bentonite clay, and lemongrass. This mask makes my skin feel soft, clean and renewed every single time that I use it and I seriously noticed a difference after one use. I prefer to use it in the morning because it has a lemony fresh smell that really wakes me up as well as a refreshing cooling sensation that immediately helps my skin with any inflammation or redness that I might have. So after that I'm ready to sit down and get started with this makeup. The first thing that I'm going to do is tie my hair up. You guys know that I always go to sleep with a little bit of coconut oil in my hair and put it up in a bun so that way I don't have to style it in the morning either. I'm all about being extra fast in the morning because I really don't have a lot of time to work with. So right after I wake up in the morning, I put my moisturizer on. This one is by CeraVe. And after that, I go ahead and put my favorite sunscreen on and a little bit of under eye corrector. The one that I just showed you guys is from Tarte. I'll have everything linked down below. So after that, I'm just going to quickly define my waterline. I'm using an eyeliner that's a pretty bronzy brown color. I really don't like to use anything black on my eyes, especially for the daytime this one is by urban decay and it's in the shade double life and after that I have to conceal these dark under eye circles now even though I already went in with a color corrector when I first woke up in the morning I still need a lot more coverage down there and you guys see that I am just chatting here with my sister we were watching something on TV I like to let it sit for one minute before I buff it out because that really helps me to have the most coverage that it can offer and after that I'm going to set it with a loose powder this one is by Maybelline their fit me line it is so so good you guys okay so after this we are going to work on my foundation so a lot of you guys know that I pretty much gave up liquid cream heavy foundations about a good two years ago I have not had any type of liquid foundation on my face and I swear by powder foundations so the one that I'm using is by NYX and it's called their No Filter Finishing Powder and I'm in the shade Light Beige. This is not marketed as a powder foundation but it has so so much coverage you guys. It looks really really natural. Almost on a daily basis when I wear this stuff I have people asking me what foundation I'm using because my skin looks so nice. It lasts all day long and it's definitely one of my absolute favorites. So basically I just apply one thin layer all over and then I'll just go over a little bit more on the areas where I have a little bit of redness which is typically my cheeks. So after that I'm going to move on to bronzer and I'm using this one by Physicians Formula. This is the butter bronzer. It's one of my absolute favorites because it kind of has 
a glow to it. So I feel like it makes your skin look very healthy and flushed and you guys are gonna see that's a common theme throughout this entire makeup tutorial. I really just want my skin to look healthy and fresh and glowing. So I'm also going to apply this bronzer as a light wash across my eyelids and after that I'm going to be combing out my brows just because I might have gotten a little bit of the powder foundation on them. I guess I'm kind of cheating a little bit here you guys because I do have my eyebrows micro shaded so this is really really easy for me to do. All I do is go over with a little bit of my favorite eyebrow gel. This one is a tinted version by Anastasia. It takes me like 20 seconds to do my eyebrows and before I got them micro shaded, I would say it took about a good five, seven minutes just to do my eyebrows. So it's definitely something that saves me a lot of time in the morning. Okay, the product that I am using here is pretty much the game changer in this entire makeup tutorial. So this is a drugstore blush by Milani in the shade Luminoso. And you guys can see that it just gives the most beautiful glow to the skin. I just feel like it makes you look so flushed. I like to apply it on my nose and on my cheeks. I feel like it kinda looks like you spent the day out in the sun. It makes you look very, very healthy and I love this product. I have not stopped using it. After that, I am grabbing this brown liquid liner also by NYX. And as you guys can see, I don't want anything too, too harsh on my face, so I really love using brown liners, whether it's lining my lids or in my waterline. This is one of my favorite ones from NYX, and I believe it was under $5 at Target. Since I've been wearing eyeliner for like the past 10 years of my life, this is something that I can do in under 20 seconds. But if you haven't really mastered liquid liner, you could definitely just skip this step. Okay, so next I'm moving on to mascara, and the one that I'm using is by Maybelline. It's their Lash Sensational Mascara. Definitely one of my favorites. This I do use in black. And you guys can just see the huge difference that it makes here. I feel like it really opens up my eye and just pulls the entire look together. And then I just like to kind of fluff out the edges and just pull, pull my brush kind of horizontally to give the illusion of a more elongated cat eye. So next I'm going to be moving on to my favorite highlighter at the moment. This one is by Ofra and I have to check and see what the shade is here. Okay, it's in the shade Rodeo Drive and this also just gives a healthy glow to the entire face. I put it on my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, the tip of my nose, on my cupid's bow and above my eyebrows. And lastly, I'm going to be moving on to my favorite lip combo at the moment. So first, I'm going to be going in with a matte lip crayon by e.l.f. And I just use it like a lip liner. This is in the shade Praline. So I do overline my lips just a little bit to make them look a little bit more plump. And after that, I am going in with a lip stain by Revlon. Now, I'm using the shade Rendezvous. I either use this orangey coral shade or the red shade or one of the pink shades. And I apply this under whatever lipstick or lip gloss I'm wearing because it stains your lips. So it really does last all day long. And after that, I'm just applying one of my favorite lip glosses. This is by It Cosmetics. And it's also supposed to be a gloss that has a staining quality to it. So my lip combo is definitely going to last all day. Lastly, I just set it all in place and I am ready to go. So I do this again, you guys, in under seven minutes every single day. It's really, really fast. I have it down packed. After that, I will take out my bun. And here is the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.